What's going on, guys? This is your boy, Quattro Dice Man, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Sage. Um, if you were looking forward to another episode of Pokemon Legends of the Arena, I'm sorry. Um, that's probably going to slow down a little bit because uh, fighting Max is going to be a huge pain with that level 60 mug. I did not know I was going to be that underleveled, and for some reason, grinding in that game is the most easiest task in the world without a lucky egg. It's crazy. Um, so I'll have to think about that. Um, I, w I don't have that much time, and you probably wouldn't want to see me losing to the same person over and over and over again. Or maybe you would. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Sage. Um, a couple of things that I just want to um, make mention. Um, I'm thinking of doing another Let's Play of Pokemon Rejuvenation since there have been so many additions uh, added to the game. Um, I'm either thinking of restarting from scratch or for, uh, using um, um, copying and using a different um, Rx data pretty, pretty much. So I'd be able to save my old uh, file, but I'd be able to play a new game without um, messing with my old file pretty much. So yeah, I've been thinking of doing those two things. If you're interested in that, um, watching another Let's Play of Pokemon Rejuvenation from the beginning with all the new additions and all the new Alolan Pokemon and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'm, as soon as I read it, I'll just get a couple of mentions about it. Uh, then I might just do that. I'll have to figure out how to save my old file. Uh, so if I can't figure that out, I'll just start from scratch. I don't really mind that. Even though I have some pretty rare Pokemon, it's not like I I plan on using them forever. So, yeah. Just want to let you guys know. Just let me know in the comment section below. And with that, let's get started. Ah, so we're in the next city. Um, oh, yeah. We're in that saloon-type city, aren't we? Um, let's see now. We need to get Dark Pits some levels. And let's put Kodak up there as well. Alright. So let's explore a little bit before we go into that saloon. That shady looking answer that I just passed by sure looks mean. If I was a young man, I'd tell him a thing or two. No matter where I look, I always see a road leading out of the town. I guess that's why they call this town the Legato Crossroads. I finished making this meal for my husband, but he disappeared. I bet he went off to the saloon again. Oh my goodness, okay. There we go. I've been trying to catch a bug Pokemon, but I've been having no luck. I know. Do you know the Pokemon Mascoon? Will you trade me one for my Rapano? That would knock out two Harpy with one stone. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one. Oh, that's too bad. If you change your mind, come back and I'll be waiting. Okay, so pretty much I can't pass by until we get that situated. Ooh. Phantasmere. Let's see. I came from Jonia City. It's amazing that the wild Pokemon in our part of the region can be so different from those in another. Welcome to the Legato Inn. We're very sorry, but we're currently fully booked. If you happen to be a trainer, we suggest staying at the Pokemon Center to rest both you and your Pokemon. Can you really call this a hotel? I didn't receive a mint on my pillow or anything. Spoiled. I came here with my new husband for a romantic honeymoon, but this place is so backwards. I was expecting somewhere tropical, like Ocea City, and and say the bay, and Dante Bay. This is strange. 
I came here with my new wife for a honeymoon, but she's disappointed. Our wedding was so expensive that this was the only place I could afford. Uh, but of course, I can't tell her that. down to earth, but I didn't think to change my wardrobe to fit. Why don't you take this? I don't need it. So it's dark. For normal types. Scarves are so last season anyways. Neckerchiefs are all the rage now. <laughs> okay. I can give this to Kenra. Fantasmere, but my dad said they're too worked up at the t today. The culture guys in Fantasmere are getting quite riled up today. They don't normally get this excited unless a bad wind blows into town. Three generations of people living in the same house. It's certainly crowded, but we're happy here. My life's motto is work hard and live happy. I lived in this town for 60 years, and I can say for certain I've done plenty of both. Grandpa is always telling me how I have to work hard, but schoolwork is so boring. I want to go on a Pokemon adventure, but I hope not. To the north, there is a spectacular cave. I never fully explored it, but I heard that deep inside, there are amazing crystals. Let's see. What you got? How many super potions do I have? We definitely need more. How many Pokeballs do I have? Six? Great balls? Oh, we, we can hold off on that. Uh, potions. Let's buy some potions. Let's head up to that, um, to that saloon now. I think I had too much to drink. <laughs> hmm. No, it has to be there, but how am I... Excuse me, I'm busy. Okay. Ah, there's nothing like relaxing with a cool drink after working your shift on the farm. Get lost, kid. This place isn't for you. Kids like you don't drink the good stuff. Uh, no. Yeah, you ain't mature enough for the good stuff. Guess he says. <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be in here? How many? How many serve? What you got? Fresh water. Same as. Oh wait. Okay, I have to remember, fresh waters are here. Um, Alright. 
Buzz off, Shorty. What do you want, Pipsqueak? You want to get stomped off? Stomped by the Great Ricardo? Hmm? Stolen Pokemon? Oh, you're friends with that loser I got this Pokemon from? What, you dating or something? Ha! <laughs> she was pathetic. She wouldn't even be able to raise a problem. I'm doing this Pokemon a favor. You want me to give it back? Ha! Huh, I'll put you in your place. Okay, so here's Grass-type, Ghost-type, 
He must be a ghost snark type then. What the world? Why is he out? Wow, okay. So for some reason, he is out prioritizing me. You better not play. You better not crit me. Get out of here. This week, Pokemon? Why don't you take it? Well, whatever. This time doesn't count, short stack. My Pokemon was too weak, anyways. If I ever see you again, I won't pull any punches, you hear? Oh! Oh, he tricked me! He tricked me! He, he tricked me hard, bro! Excuse me, young man. I couldn't help but notice how well you dispatched that ruffle. Bravo and kudos. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor Northington. I specialize in studying this region's history. I am fascinated by its mythology, in particular. To the north of here, there lies a cave where the ancient people of Oromos used to perform rituals using crystals. After seeing how hardy you are, I have a proposition. I ask of you to get me one of those star crystals from the cave. It is invaluable for my research. At my age, I can't go gallivant gallivanting up mountains like I used to in my youth. Can you go up there for me? Ah, yes. In order to progress through the mountain, you will need this. Ah, Rock Smash, and it's a TM. Nice. That's good. Consider it payment in advance. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. Using Rock Smash will crush any rock boat with cracked boulders that will be in your way. You don't even need a badge to use it. Please bring me a star crystal from the starry cave. It's to the north of Route 5. Let's see if some one of my Pokemon can learn this Rock Smash. Mmm, interesting. Katie and Dark Prince. And Wallace. Let's give it to Wallace. Um, let's see. We'll get rid of the fence, Curl. Excuse me. go into that back room just in case there might be something back there. But let me heal up first. I got played, bro. <laughs> I got played. I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. I should've... Like, I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. Guard special. Say yes. What? Don't try to act tough. 
Now come on, do you really drink the good stuff? Yep. Whoa, kid, I had no idea. You're not joking, you drink the good stuff? Yep. Huh, that's great. Here, take mine. Ha, <laughs> fresh water. Fresh water is the good stuff. It's so good to see kids being healthy. Water really is great for you. It really is the good stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. In case there are any double battles coming my way. We're gonna need Katie to evolve soon. I've never had uh, my starter not evolve at this point of the game. It usually evolves by after the first gym. Oh. Great ball, cool, cool. Glad I didn't spend money on it. I just love these Pokemon with such interesting designs. Wow! He must have had none of that. Okay. Pop out first try with a great ball, but stay in the Pokeball? Okay. I see you're pecky. Cybex takes long journeys to mountaintops, searching for inner peaks. No meditation, it is able to see the, to the hearts of humans and Pokemon alike. Let's call it... Roblox. You know, I was thinking in my head that if I managed to find one of these Pokemon, that I was it's definitely coming in my, into my team. But what am I gonna switch it with? I mean, look at it. It's a ghost horse. Oh, wow. Well, that's lovely. Well, I'm definitely going to catch this thing. But there might be a side quest making me um, actually catching another one or uh, battling another one. So I'll wait for a little bit and then I'll, I'll figure out which Pokemon to switch for this. Coulter, guys. The Free Spare Pokemon. The icy blue gazes of Coulter, guys, herds can often be seen in thick fog packages. Their eerie cries not only cause chills, but also strange and disgraceful dreams. Let's see. What should I name this after? Oh, 
Oh, who should I get this after, I should say? Um... Let's name it Crisis. Constantly sands and moves in perfect balance, even in strong winds or in leaping breath. Nothing seems to distract it from deep meditation. That sounds like a Pokemon that could become a psychic type. I'll call this one Paul. Let's go back and heal up before we continue. No running in the Pokemon Center. This makes it more difficult to equip. Find the best joy. Hmm, we're close to 30 minutes already. So let's check out those Pokemon that I just captured. Let's see. Robloxia. Simple! Impish nature. Hmm. It looks like it could be a mixed attacker, but it has a impish nature, so. 
Yawn, confusion, double to kick, and to teleport. It could have teleported at me. Crisis. Ghost type. Sassy nature. High, high special defense, low speed. Who's that the same type as the Pokemon Ignore? I don't really understand what that's trying to say. Moves up. Moves are the same type as the Pokemon Ignore. Oh, so it ignores ghost type moves? So it's not affected by ghost type moves? Is that what it's trying to say? Interesting. And then Paul. It's a relaxed nature, which. <laughs> Of course it is. I think that actually suits it. It gains HP after using non-attacking moves. Hmm. Those are some interesting abilities. Alright, let's save the game right here. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.